Welcome back to my channel. Just in case this is our first video you've ever seen, my name is Lauren and I have a nine-year-old boy, an eight-year-old boy, a seven-year-old boy, and an almost two-year-old daughter. This is going to be what we got them for Christmas for 2018. Also, one thing you may want to know before you watch this video is that we don't buy our kids anything throughout the year unless it's something that they need. We only buy them things that they want on Christmas, their birthday, or Easter. So the rest of the year, if there's anything that they want, they have to save up their allowance to buy it themselves and they don't buy a whole lot throughout the year so with that being said we do tend to spoil our kids a little bit and do Christmas big so I just want to throw that out there and even with that being said um, still a little overboard and I realize that I said it I'm not justifying what I'm doing here but every year this happens and I just want to throw it out there also because I wanted to film this video our boys wrote Christmas list to Santa they did what they wanted what they needed something they could read and something they could wear and I asked if he could please send their gifts early so they can film this video and Santa came through I'm able to bring this video to you guys and share with you what our kids got for Christmas for 2018 lots of people have asked how we do Christmas presents like how we keep it fair since we have multiple kids and I'll share that a little bit we don't do it based on price a lot of my friends say that they try to spend the same amount on each kid we don't do that we try to get around the same number of presents per kid because I don't think my kids care about the money that an item costs just yet maybe when they're older they will but they don't right now however we have been known to purposely give some kids more presents than others based on their behavior not that any of our kids are bad by any means we are blessed with great kids and there have been years that some of them have been better than others and they know that so sometimes we do purposely give more gifts to one than another but yeah let's dive in and i'll start with the youngest i'll go with jenna's first so she's almost two i'll show you guys what her presents are jenna got this kid craft kitchen i have not opened it yet i'll put a picture of what it looks like put together but it's white and it's a smaller kitchen than what we had with the boys so that we can fit it inside of our kitchen. We got her these sorting cupcakes from Learning Resources. They come with a little tray. I thought they were cool because they'll not only be cute for the kitchen but also teach her her shapes and colors. And these are called Learning Resources Shape Sorting Cupcake. The next thing we got her is this Melissa and Doug set of stainless steel pots and pans for her play kitchen. And it also comes with wooden spatulas and spoons for her to play with too. We thought those would be cute in her little white kitchen. Jenna is obsessed with Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. I got her a pair of Mickey and Minnie pajamas. I'll put a picture of them in. They are not here yet. They're supposed to be delivered today, but they're still not here. I'm also giving her this pair of house slippers to go with her set of new pajamas. We got her this Minnie Mouse brunch cooking set. I just thought it was so cute. She's obsessed with Minnie. She loves her so much. And I love this cute little pan right here. And the tongs that have Minnie Mouse's little bow on them. I know she's going to love this. I'll link all this stuff below, by the way, just in case you want to see where we got it from. It is just so cute. You can get this from the Disney Store or Amazon. She has two other plush cats that she sleeps with every day, and this year the Disney store came out with a cat with a really long tail. I did not know how long this tail was, but I think Jenna will be able to snuggle up with it and wrap the tail around her like a boa, and she'll probably like that, but it's really soft. Honestly, if I knew just how long this tail was when I ordered it, I may not have gotten it, but she really loves Marie from Marissa Cat, so I know she'll love it. The next thing we got Jenna is the Beauty and the Beast tea tray set. I love this. This came from the Disney store. It has the little saucers and plates. It's so cute. The teapot's lid comes off with the little petty fours. The gray stuff, of course. It has sparkly gold on the side of the pink on the tray. And here's a picture on the back of what it looks like put together, but I think Jenna will love it. She is obsessed with Disney princesses, so I can't wait to see her play with this. It's going to be so cute. Santa brought this present for Jenna. It is huge and amazing. It's the Walt Disney World Castle playset. It has Mickey and Minnie, who she's absolutely obsessed with right now, and Cinderella and Prince Charming. It plays sounds and has fireworks and lights. It's a firework display. 
It also has Tinkerbell in there. And then it looks like it has some stairs that you can attach to the back. I had no idea how big this was. I know she's going to love this and be so surprised that Santa brought it for her. I went to the Toys R Us going on a business sale and bought these little princesses for Jenna and kept them for Christmas this year. And I think they'll be perfect to play with her little Walt Disney World castle. She loves princesses so much and I know that she'll love that these have glitter. I also got her the Lava Bella Love Comes to Life baby doll at the Toys R Us going out of business sale. I think this is animated and talks and does some things. I'm not really sure what all it does, but I did get it at the Toys R Us going out of business sale and kept it for her to give it to her for Christmas. And I also got her a Love and Care, I think it's called, baby like play set with a sink and a high chair and everything to play with the dolls. I'll link a picture of it. It's in the garage. It's way too big for me to bring upstairs for me to show you guys but she's really into baby dolls this says it's for four plus but none of the pieces are small and jenna's not putting things that aren't food in her mouth so i know i'm being a bad example but um she'll be fine with it even though it says it's for four plus for jenna's stocking santa brought her this moana necklace and it looks like it lights up in the back she loves jewelry bracelets necklaces especially anything that lights up so i know she'll like it Jenna is also getting this just like home Dyson Ball vacuum cleaner. We got this as well from the Toys R Us going out of business sale. It even has sounds, just like a real Dyson vacuum. The next thing we got Jenna was this Disney Princess matching game or concentration game. I played this with the boys when they were about her age. I think this is good for teaching patience as well as memory and concentration. And then Jenna's last present, her big present from us, is this ride on unicorn pony from pony cycle it has a sparkly horn it's so cute this is a small size by the way they have two different sizes we got this from the pony cycle website i'll link this below but the way that it works is the kids sit right here and put their feet right here and when they bounce here it powers the pony to go it's mechanically driven so when they bounce it makes it ride by itself this was a splurge for us but i think it's so precious and i cannot wait to see her riding this thing Every year we try to get at least one ride-on thing or outside toy for each one of the kids. I wanted to get Jenna something as well. Next I'll show you Ezra's gifts and he is our seven-year-old. The first gift that we got Ezra is this boxer robot. He saw a commercial for it this year actually in his teacher's classroom and he's been really obsessed with this robot ever since. It has really good reviews online so we did decide to get it for him and i hope that he likes it they had it in black and blue and the blue is a little bit harder to find than the black but it does some really cool stuff it plays some games with them and it seems like a smart little robot so i hope he likes it we got Ezra the new super mario party game for the nintendo switch and an extra set of controllers so that he and a brother can play with him he is really big into video games, and I think each of the boys are getting one video game for Christmas. He did really want Pikachu Go or Eevee Go for the Nintendo Switch, but Brady got that for Christmas, so we got this one for Ezra instead. I also got Ezra a Dallas Cowboys wallet because he loves the Cowboys since that was his football team this year, and he's needed a wallet, or he says he needs a wallet to hold his money. That's being delivered, but I'll insert a picture for you guys so you can see what it looks like. This Fortnite squad mode action figure set was super hard to find, but I know our boys will love it. They all like Fortnite. I'll link it below for you guys. They're all posable, and I think our kids will really like this set. And you can build with those pieces at the bottom. Ezra really wanted the upshot bow and arrow. He saw it in the Mindware magazine that was sent to us. He asked for this from Santa and Santa came through and sent this for Ezra. It's a bow and arrow and you can attach some kind of device to it. So I guess I'll be letting him use my old iPhone so that he can play this game with the upshot bow and arrow. This was really inexpensive and he really wanted it. It has great reviews online. I had never heard of it before, so I'll link it below if you guys are interested in wanting something different for your kids. Ezra loves opening these Hatchimal collectibles where they have the eggs with the little animals inside, and these are the Amazon exclusive glow-in-the-dark version. Ezra asked Santa for a jetpack this year, and after looking online, I could not find any mom-approved jetpacks. And I don't think Santa will be surprising him with a jetpack. So I got him this book if he had a jetpack. 
at the Toys R Us going on a business sale. I picked up this Sky Bouncer for Ezra. I thought it would be something easy he could put in his backpack to play with at school at recess or he could play with his brothers out on the golf course or in our backyard. It says it bounces high. I've seen a few kids play with them at recess before so I think Ezra will like it. As I mentioned before, we got all of our kids something to write on outside. Ezra actually has several things, but we got him this Razor Rip Rider 360 caster trike. This is really cool. I've watched a lot of videos online and it seems like they can like really spin out and do some fun things with these trikes. They say kids really love them, so I can't wait to see our boys playing with this outside. It says it's for five plus. This is what the back looks like, by the way. The boys have only had regular Nerf guns before, but we got them each a rival Nerf gun that shoots these little round bullets, some rival rounds to go with it, and a mask to protect their eyes and their face, because I've heard these bullets, these round ones, hurt worse than the other ones. The next thing we got Ezra is this pair of Alex stilts. He surprised us, and while he was doing his Christmas list, he asked for stilts, so... Here you go, Ezra. Let's see how that goes. I got Ezra the School in the Dark bracelet to put in his stocking with whatever Santa brings. And then his last present is from Santa. He asked for a pogo stick. And this is the iPogo Junior Poker Stick. It's interactive. It talks to them. And then it also keeps count. It's by Flybar, by the way. You can get it off Amazon. I'll link it below for you guys. You can get it other places too, but Amazon has the best price. This part lights up to show like how hard they're jumping. And then the top, like I said, has a counter at Next, the Next I'll show you guys Brady's presents and he's eight years old. Brady asked for the Ozobot Evo. So we got him the starter kit with a little black one. These little robots teach the kids coding. They can draw lines and the Ozobots follow them. They can draw different colors on the table and it will make the Ozobots do different things. I'm not sure exactly everything that they do. Brady knows more about it than I do, but I think he'll be really excited to have one of these with how creative he is. Brady asked Santa for a Pikachu Go Pokemon game, and Santa came through and sent this for him. And I don't even think Brady knew about this, but Santa sent the one with the Pokeball Plus little joystick controller that you can use with the Switch. Brady loves Fortnite as well. All three of our boys do, so we got him the Fortnite pinata inside the pinata that they can open there's all kinds of things so i think you'll like this and it'll go with the action figures that ezra got as well brady is really into like artistic stuff and rock so his christmas presents are a little bit different he asked for all this stuff this is the national geographic mega fossil dig kit it contains genuine fossils and like a shark tooth, all kinds of stuff. This I would have thought was the same thing as the fossil kit, but it's not. It's a gym treasure hunting set with gems inside. Brady has a rock collection, so I know he'll love this and he'll love adding these little gemstones to his collection he already has. Next, we got him a Snap Circuits 3D magnets, electronics, and gear set for him to build stuff with. He loves playing with the circuits in my classroom and I know he'll love this. He's never had a snap circuit set, but it's right up his alley. This Brady also asked Santa for and Santa delivered it for him. It's a motorized pottery wheel. He's super into pottery right now. So he can make his own cups and bowls with this. Some with little paints and stuff too. He has a pottery app that he loves and they talk about pottery in his art class. So I know he'll love this. Lance and I also got Brady a National Geographic Mega Crystal Growing Lab. It comes with this little rock that acts as a nightlight and you can put the crystals that you grow. They take a few weeks to grow the crystals, but you can grow these crystals and then hold them inside your nightlight to put beside your bed and I think Brady will really like it. He also found this in the Mineware catalog and added it to his wish list. We also got Brady a Nerf rival face mask, some refill bullets, and a Nerf rival gun as well so that he can play with his brothers. I got Brady a red and black little rubber bracelet and these were also from the Toys R Us going on a business sale. I'll add this to a stocking with whatever Santa puts in there for him. Then Brady has been asking for roller skates for as long as I can remember and these roller skates can clip onto your shoes and make any shoes roller skates kind of like Heelys. These actually have sparking action when you lean back. He found these himself and added them to his wish list. And I hope he's able to ride them. I think he'll probably take him a few days to get used to them, but 
I know he'll be so happy to have one. We also got Brady this Beyblade Burst Launcher with a string. He's been requesting one that has a string for some reason. So this will probably go inside of his stocking. This one's called Dual Threat Launcher. And then also Brady loves Unikitty from Lego Movie. So we got him two Lego Unikitty blind bags for stocking. By the way, I almost forgot. We also got Brady the Incredibles 2 movie. We saw it in the theaters and it was really cute. But it hasn't been delivered yet, so... He also got the Incredibles 2 movie. And Brady's last present is a present from us. It's the Razor Rip Rider 360, the same one that Ezra has so that they can play together outside. And lastly, we have our son Evan's presents, and he's 9, almost 10. His birthday's in January. Evan requested a Houston Texans jacket, so we got him this jacket. It's kind of like a hoodie, I guess. And the top zips up to a football helmet up here. Evan asked Santa for the Overwatch game. Santa delivered on the Overwatch game and sent this to us. So Evan will be getting that. Evan's huge into sports, all sports in fact, baseball included. And so I got him this Houston Astros Lego piece that he can build. So he'll probably put it by his bed or something. I think he'll like it. Also got Evan a blue bracelet like his brother's. And then Evan also got a Nerf rival face mask from the Phantom Core and a Phantom Core Kronos 500 Nerf rival gun. Evan's been needing a new headset for his Xbox for a while and we got him this light up one. Has really good reviews on Amazon. I know he'll love it. I don't really know how you say the name, but there it is up there. Cushion Each Pro Gaming Headset, but it has light. The boys are constantly playing in the dark with their friends next door to me at school in the mornings and after school. And this ultra dash cam looks really cool. It has like a baton that you hold and these little things that stack up. And they time themselves running around, hitting the baton to each of them and see who can do it the fastest. And I think that would be really funny to play at school while they're waiting on me and the other mamas to get our teacher work done. Evan doesn't have a pop socket and I try to get them all something from Fortnite because they all love Fortnite so much. So I got him this Fortnite Llama pop socket for his phone. This was also a present that Santa delivered for Evan. He asked Santa for an electric speed chaser race car set with real headlights. And so here it is. He played slot cars at his friend's house recently and I think that's where he got the idea from this. I don't know where we're going to be storing this. I guess in our sunroom i don't know but i hope he likes it for something to read evan asked for more football non-fiction books so i got him the greatest football teams of all times because he wants like stats of this and i actually got him another book too that my friend is actually picking up from me right now from barnes and noble but i don't have it yet and it's the national geographic weird but true sports facts book i'll put a picture in for you guys so he's getting both of these books and this last gift is his big gift from us it's his green machine it kind of goes with the 360 trikes that we got his brothers it seems really similar but this one goes up to higher ages and higher weight limits i think it's pretty much the same just it has these handles i guess instead of handlebars i think it's gonna be really cute to see the boys all riding these outside together they're gonna have a ball I also got Evan a Texans ugly Christmas sweater that hasn't been delivered yet. It's supposed to be delivered today, but it's not here yet. So I'll show you guys a picture of that. He requested that as something to wear on his wish list. That's it for this video for all the presents we got for our kids for 2018. By the way, it does feel silly to say that that's it because I know that I went totally overboard. I'm aware of this. You don't need to point it out. Like I said, we do Christmas big. And I'm so excited to see their faces on Christmas morning. And I just wanted to share this with you guys in case anyone out there needed any ideas for things to get their kids for Christmas. If you enjoyed any part of this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Please subscribe to our channel if you're not already subscribed. If you think my content is interesting and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.